Here at Cook's Country, we have every type of cooking equipment you can imagine. But I'd argue that the hardest working piece of equipment is the humble paper towel. And we go through over 3,800 rolls of this stuff every year. And Adam's here to tell us which one we should be buying at home. You know, it's ironic, Julia, because I can buy any piece of cooking equipment or a small appliance with total confidence. But when I have <laughs> to buy paper towels, I am like a deer in the headlights. I'm I with you. stare at the shelves. Mm -hmm. My brain starts to melt down. My <laughs> arm reaches for whatever is on sale or sort mm -hmm. of familiar. No thought whatsoever to right. performance. Sometimes I'm trying to analyze which is the cheapest price per sheet. I'm just trying to get out of there before they put a straight jacket <laughs> on me. But Cook's Country is going to save us both. We can get rid of our paper towel paralysis. <laughs> now, we took 12 different paper towels from five manufacturers. We included both full sheets and variable sheets. Ah. The price per roll was a low of 87 cents to a high of $2.49. Okay. And the testing was exhaustive. Testers used a single folded sheet to blot four steaks dry, checking to see whether any meat juices soaked through. They used triple layers of sheets to drain freshly fried bacon, check to see if any grease soaked through. They used full single sheets to scrub a measured amount of all-purpose cleaner off of six different surfaces, plastic, wood, granite, marble, and glass, and examined the towels for tears, lint, or excessive wetness on the surfaces or their own hands. However, a lot of these products bombed the test. <laughs> really? It was incredible. <laughs> a lot of that had to do with the thickness of the paper towels. When testers measured the thickness of the sheets, they found a pretty significant difference. The thicker ones were about 0.4 millimeters, whereas the thinner ones were 0.2 millimeters. And that made a real difference in terms of absorbency. The thicker ones could hold about a quarter cup of water for a full sheet, whereas the thinner ones could only hold two tablespoons for a full wow. sheet. It also made a difference in terms of the strength. The thicker ones could go across that rough plastic cutting board 300 times and still hadn't torn through to the second ply. So all of this relates to the number of plies. The thicker ones obviously had two plies bonded together. The thinner ones had just single plies. So the performance was clear cut. The pricing was a lot less clear. A lot of these brands have a cheaper option that's billed as the budget alternative to their premium role. Now, I want you to check this out. This is two of the same company's paper towels. Yeah. Can you see yes. the difference there? I mean, I think I've bought these before. They're super squishy. It's like there's a lot of air in between each sheet, so and you don't get a lot of that sheet. that one, so much nicer. Yeah. So testers found exactly the same thing. The manufacturers will deeply emboss those paper towels, and they'll wrap them loosely on the roll to give you the illusion mm. of thickness and value. Of course, the testers counted the number of sheets on each roll, and they found that the budget alternatives usually had about 17% fewer sheets than the other ones. Wow. In the end, the paper towel that testers liked the best was the national top seller. Bounty. Bounty did the work. It's a great paper towel. It's two-ply. It's super thick and absorbent. It's really strong for rough surfaces. It was the most expensive option that we had at $2.49 a roll. But if you calculate the cost per square foot, it's only about seven cents per square foot. Not bad. It's really strong, so it's not that bad a deal. All of our testers were converts to the Bounty. So there you have it. After all that testing, we determined that Bounty paper towels are the best at $2.49 a roll. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>